Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 2 versus 2 on Orsha North and in this one I'm going to be playing with the second guards tank core. On my team I have Neff who will be playing the same division and we have on the opposing side captains and Ithraeg who are playing with the fifth panzer. So a good old classic conquest game today. Let's get some troops down. Please remember that this is beta and therefore everything is still subject to change. I'm gonna have to work out a way to dominate this top area. I think we're gonna be going for the uh, Tanko Desantniki uh, for the most part. So let's get them on the road. And we'll have them zoom up to the top here and control this right side. I'll also need a couple for the trees further down. We'll put a couple in there as well. But what we do have to remember is that we are defending these capture points. These are what matter. All of the territory elsewhere does not. So it's not like we have to hold the whole front line. We only have to hold these specific areas. Going to be grabbing another unit of these though. Put them in there. And we'll make sure they're all unloading. Okay, cool. Let's grab some command. And we'll have them follow up the infantry on the right side. I'm also tempted to do a tank push up here. Rather than over on this side. Get an AT gun to go up to this area and we'll also bring a command up there as well awesome I'm gonna bring a command tank and we'll bring a bunch of T-34s we'll have all of these push to the right side give them the quick hunt command to the center we'll bring in a dozer squad and that will provide us with recon and that should be okay so we're going to put a lot of pressure onto this point on the right side and see if we can break through there then Potentially we can push across down towards the town with sort of a pincer movement. We will however have to prevent reinforcements that are coming down from this road. So I'll be looking to find out a way to do that. But I'll definitely go for the secure onto this objective on the far right before I attempt to go for the town. Gonna bring in a couple of these Vardia and they can go into these trees initially just to help us defend that area. I am tempted to also try and push here with a couple tanks. A couple T-34s, maybe a command T-34. Let's do a quick hunt command in this direction. We'll have more Vardia push ahead of us. That is a lot of troops. We're going very aggressive early on. We don't have any artillery until phase B, so it's all about the support from our tanks, which is why I'm bringing in so many of them. I am, however, tempted to make use of a couple of PTRS squads. We'll see about making those work. Awesome. Let's 
just push up these units a little bit. Off we go. So as you may have noticed, in Steel Division 2, there is a lot more units at your command, as opposed to having maybe one or two tanks at the start. I actually have eight, actually nine tanks at the start. <laughs> Quite something. We can pretty much overrun AT guns for the most part. And if we come up against things like Tigers, if we manage to push aggressively towards them, we will eventually hit their side armor. So those are our orders. Shift unload commands for everyone. Let's unload the Dosa squad and continue on with the BA-64B. It is a recon unit so it won't affect the front line. unload these guys. We'll have them start attack moving through that forest. We'll do the same on the right here. And my tanks, well, we'll keep the T-34 command behind whilst the rest push forwards. Let's keep moving forwards with the T-34s. We need them to cover our Vardia as we move up. Wow, that uh, Panzer IV's already taken out two of our T-34-76s. Let's withdraw from that fight. We're going to want to get out of line of sight of the Tiger here. As we capture that point. Very good. Very good indeed. That was a successful push early on. Just take care of this Panzer Shrek squad and then we can... Maybe try and flank the Tiger if it pushes forwards. For now though, it's time to bring in the T-34 85s. We need something that can actually kill the Tiger. And this will be a start. That BA-64 is currently engine destroyed, so nothing we can do about that. Maybe have these T-34s come back this way. And meanwhile, I'll bring up an AT gun that can cover this road. Right, we're going to want to move away from that engagement with the Tiger. Move this AT gun across a little bit so we have shot onto that Tiger if it pushes forwards. Currently doing a good job against these Panzergrens. Hopefully we'll pin them. Well, 
Oh, nice kill onto the Opoblitz there. See about maybe pushing in cover. That might be a good idea on this right side. Captured that objective, very good. My T-3476 is dead, however. I need them to stop and fire at this. Uh, never mind, we'll just have them fall back for now. And we'll bring in some more. Make a strong push on that right side with that infantry. One of my tanks did just get taken out. Not entirely sure what by. Right, both of my T-3485s have arrived on the hill. Great. And we're going to be engaging a Tiger here. I'm hoping that with the help of the APCR shells of the this 2 we should be able to get a kill. Well, that is a shooter knockout and crew kill. Very good. Go on APCR. Get the job done. Incendiary. Come on. One more shot. Transmission damage. <laughs> Not quite what I was looking for. Let's see about getting the T-34s to continue that engagement. I'm going to have my T-34 here. Rush the Tiger. Okay, never mind. Doesn't look like it needs to. Ah, it was the Tiger on the far right here that sniped my command T-34. Panzer Grenadier certainly found a couple tanks there that it probably didn't want to. Oh, we're going to have to be careful with the Erzatsruppen killing my troops. After they are pinned. Let's just bring in some more infantry here. Let's see about killing these Erzats. Ah, oh, we got them. Nice. The plan here is to push through with the T-34-76s. Maybe we can hit their mortar battery if we're quick enough. And the track's broken on one of the T-34s, that's not good. Ah, well, he killed the one that was already disabled, so that's not so bad. As long as we kill this Panzer Shrek before it kills another, that is fine. Is 
a lot of modifier. I'm going to bring in my commander on this right side. It looks like that's where we're going to be fighting for the most part. We'll bring in a unit of infantry just to hold this section. We are currently winning with the 14 points versus their 10. We're going to bring back the T-3485s though and we're going to push them to the right side. We're into phase B, so time for some counter battery. And I think my best bet is probably using the SU-76Ms. So I think I might just bring in four of them and we'll use them just as artillery initially counter battery those mortars. Nice job by the Tanko de Santniki though. Very good actually. I'm going to need some supply at some point, so we'll bring some in now to resupply the uh, ZIS-2 here. We also will need it to resupply the AP shells of the T-3485s. Alright, let's make sure that we have these grouped and what we're going to do is bring in an artillery an artillery man or a radio man that can give us more accurate coordinates for our SU-76Ms. I'm going to try and hit this area preemptively. So we should watch where they're firing from. Because the mortar strike has just come in. Let's bring in a couple of these T-34A5s with the APCR shells. What they will allow us to do is kill things like the Tigers with the 180mm penetration. I have brought in, however, a couple of these Avto uh, Machiki because they have 10 PPSHs and therefore we'll be able to push through the Stem Pioneers quite well. I do need some infantry for this left side as well. Let's bring some in. Oh, shooter killed with the first shot. Alright, we can see their mortars firing away. I was hoping that my AT gun was firing at the Tiger, but it was not. Yeah. 
Uh, my T gun there is definitely dead. That sucks. We can bring in another one there. It got surrendered. That is unfortunate. Just gotta kill those off. Good. Nice critical there from my 50 cal. Let's continue to push through. They do still have a Panzer track here, I believe. So we will have to worry about that. Yep, there it is. There's also the Tiger in this location. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, best bet here is just to have my T-3485 that side, one that side. And go from there. Because we have the radio man, we can fire very quickly onto enemy artillery. Cut off a couple more infantry though. How's Neff doing? Looks like he's lost this point on the left side. That's unfortunate. We could probably push into the center here, I think, with a couple of units. Especially if we support it with the AT guns, which we do have there. Let's move this T-3485 to the left. If we get line of sight on that. I think it's a Panzer IV. Nice. Good kill. Our Panzer tracks. Got potential to do quite a bit of damage. We do thankfully have two Avto Machiki squads in place. There's also the cannoneer behind our lines that we're going to have to kill off. There's a panther in the center. Right, we're going to have to figure out a way to deal with that. Let's bring in a couple more of these T-3485s. And we shall bring in our command here. We are going to need to reinforce this town at some point. That artillery is becoming a problem. Unload the dozer there. Put 
свободен. Пошли. Слышу вас хорошо. We're gonna turn off AP shells. We're gonna have the half track go first. We bump into the Tiger. I'll have the T thirty four eighty fives move forwards as well. Okay, it is still there. Kill the Fjorda. Tight damage. Go on, get that kill. That was a bailout. Fantastic. Go on, APCR shout. Oh, armor crack. That is a second bailout. Ouch. Okay, time to defend our tanks. <laughs> I don't know how I lost this area. We should hold that ideally. Okay, get killed in 259. We have the support on its way, a couple of Vardia. I'm gonna get a couple more of the Machiki. And we'll have the MTA ones pushed around. This one's engaging out of range, which is a bit silly. I need my command actually to come back. The artillerist can move forwards just a front line for us for the time being. Okay, that's those guys taken care of. All my Vardia in the open here are getting killed off. Oh, they've been pinned down. That is frustrating. Okay, time for the never-ending T-3485 spam. Oh, I do need to resupply my own artillery. That is some very nice artillery. Took out, took out my supply straight away. We'll have one come in the back and we'll sneak it up. Hopefully the 50 cow can stop this 259. Get our artillery battery going once again. Okay, it might be time to bring in the Kachusha just to kill off those mortars for good. We'll bring in a couple behind here along with a supply truck. Very good. See my artillery landing where it should be. Let's 
Did we kill one yet? <laughs> We've been counter battering them for a long time. I would like to try and kill these Panthers. Do you have a T-34-85 here? Let's just move up the M2 combat a bit more to give that AT gun the veterancy it needs. Let's press up again with the M2A1s. We have the T34-85s follow them. I'm just going to catch you share those uh, mortars because they are causing me issues. them to a different location. Have the T-3485s be ready to engage the Panzer IV. Nice, good kill. And this T-34 is so dead. Looks like one of my T-34s did actually end up dying here. we can hit it with more machine gun fire, we should be able to pin them down and hopefully kill them off. Let's reverse from that engagement. We will be reversing into artillery fire though. I would love to know how those are still alive. <laughs> So we're now going to lose in 31 minutes uh, with the current way the points are. Best thing I can think about doing right now is potentially just grabbing a load of T-3485s and making a big push through the center. I might pile up here with Neff and we can make a strong push through. On the right side it's pretty much a stalemate by the looks of things. I think I'm just going to save these T-3485s for now. In with these ones, we just need to get them out of that artillery fire. I'm going to try and counter battery it just a little bit. See if that works out for us. Gonna need a command tank for these, so we'll bring that in. Let's turn on the AP shells, maybe we can finish off these Panthers. 
There we got one. Nice. I really want to turn off the AP shells so that we use APCR, I guess. Turn back on normal AP for now. Get out of the line of sight there. Good. Let's give a follow command to the T 3485. Actually, we can go a quick hunt command to follow. Nice. Good crew kill there. Let's bring in some infantry. Let's push the center area. Time to bring in some more close range infantry. Help us out here. I'm going to try and save my command if I can. Okay, that is a Marta destroyed. Another Marder up on the ridge. Quite a lot of hits. Neff going to be pushing across the open here with his Guardia. Very good. If I can, I do want to try and counter battery. Use artillery back there. Losing that side is not good for us, though. And on APCR, so that we can attempt to take out. These Panthers. It might be worth just retreating, actually. Time to catch you, Sha, the Vespa. I'm surprised we have direct line of sight there, actually. Very good artillery strike, though. Took out a couple of them. Unload our infantry and allow them to continue to push up. Do need some tanks to assist me at close range, so we'll bring in a couple on that side. How are my tanks doing on this side? Oh, they've all been routed. Great. <laughs> Let's just fall back for now. We did manage to secure the center area here, which is fantastic. So it wasn't all in vain, but we lost a lot of tanks in that engagement. Now we kind of just need to do the same on the far left side. Let's 
Jeez. We don't actually have any anti-air. It's the first air force we've seen. They did have line of sight onto my supply trucks, so we're going to have to sort that out one way or another. Let's see about using my SU-76Ms to just attack move in this direction. We'll bring in a couple of those squads because I need to make sure that I find those. We only lost one of the Katyusha, so it wasn't the end of the world. It was more the fact that we lost all the, the supply. That really sucks. Took back that point. That's great. If we can get into cover. Oh, that is a panther. Go on, smash him with the APC asp. Nice. AP as we go up there. Alright, I'm going to quick hump back to the left here. Gotta make sure I'm using APCR. Turn off the AP shells and carry on towards this Panther D. We have some more infantry I can bring in, so we do need to do that. Bring some in there as well. Just to cover that all off. C-3485s really aren't doing what I want them to. With that loader kill, I'm not sure we're going to be able to win that engagement. It's, he's gone for 20 seconds. Did we clean out the unit that was here? Well, we did. Do have an extra supply that can come back and resupply that Kachusha. With the transmission destroyed, it can't rotate, so it's kind of screwed. can't have all those units dying without unloading. <laughs> That's definitely not a good idea. Sanitar. Time for another couple capture shows, I think. Sanitar. 
Oh, good bail out. Nicely done. The Machiki got taken out. That's not good. Oh, we're losing a lot of ground here. Let's bring in more T 3485s and push them back. Bunch of MU 410s coming in. It's not much AA. Bring in a couple of yaks to deal with this. Oh, there's one down. Radiator overheating, that's not good. We just took out a couple of Panther A's though. And that's all of the planes being shot down, so... Pretty good job. Alright, let's unload these infantry and start pushing back through. <laughs> and we'll just bring in more and more Vardia until we basically run out. Look at my body, I can kill off the Panzergrenz. this to evac. I think I'm gonna catch your shot these Panthers. If we can kill those with a Katyusha strike. Can we get one? Overwhelm them with HE, that is two down. Very nice. Let's move away from that location. I know these guys, so they don't die unnecessarily again. Good. Keep pushing through. Let's 
get more T-34s in. Keep pushing. Unfortunately, we are losing 16 to 8 right now. Major defeat in 17 minutes. Incredibly long game. See if we can capture a few back <laughs> before the day is out. Those Panzergrens have replaced the command that was in front of them. Yeah, no luck there for my T-34. There is potential that what we can do is bring in some bombers along with a couple of T-34s. That was run out of supply. We're going to need to get some more if we want to use them again. Go on, APCR. Straight in the face. Oh, that was a Panzerfaust which actually killed us there. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Damn it. That is now dead as well. Alright, well, back up to the hell we go with more T-3485s. <laughs> We're going to have a, a lot of losses. Look at all of these burning vehicles. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. The Russians cannot win today, unfortunately, I don't think. Almost completely out of infantry. All of these Panzergrens have Panzerfausts and it's making things so damn awkward. Also, the Panthers are out aiming my T 3485s every time, so that doesn't really help. Yeah, we'll just have to bring in more and go for engagements where we can actually fight with two at once, kind of like this, with like the 2v1. Because in this case, I think they all came round the corner one by one, and therefore the Panthers managed to kill them off. 
Будьте на чеку. Враг близко. Борис, ложись! My cartouches are ready. Smash the panther rays. This is a better target elsewhere. We'll try over here. This will be my last Gatusha volley. Not sure if we killed any. Can't see. I'm just trying to get in range to throw the RPG-43. Not sure we're going to make it. <laughs> oh, nice, we did. Bring in a bomber, blow the crap out of these guys. All of the units are gonna want to run away. Bombs away. <laughs> we can have a massive dog fight. I really want to have a massive dog fight. Вытащите меня отсюда! Вижу противника! Осторожно! Замечен противник! Назад! В отеке! Борис, ложись! <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> What's the dog fight at the end here? Борис, ложись. Вытащите меня отсюда. My yak can I get the kill? <laughs> Don't think he is. At least not yet. That's the end of the game. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a game. 53 minutes, unfortunately we lost, but wow. Let's jump to the kills, or the team stats. 6,600 kills to 7,230 losses. Neff with the 3,955 kills to 6,765 losses. It's like um, Edreig did quite well indeed. Captain's also decent with KD. I don't think any of my units really stood out in that. It was very much a war of attrition. Ah, oh, wow. This uh, AT gun got six Panther A kills. That is very impressive. But other than that, <laughs> nothing really stood out too much. One of my Gvardia with the uh, 
uh, PT RD did manage to kill off multiple half tracks, but that's nothing compared to the six Panther kills of that AT gun. Losses. Any standout units on the opposing side? Tiger E did take out quite a few of my units there. But again, more of a war of attrition than anything. Looks like this Marta 3 managed to pop quite a few of the T-34s while I wasn't looking. That might have been the reason for that failed push when I brought in like those eight tanks. A couple of Panthers getting a few T-34s each. That's not so good. But uh, yeah, overall, a very, very fun game. Very long game, that's for sure. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that look at a conquest game on Orsha North. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.